Hi guys, Michael with ownerbuilderclass.com here. So let's say you're looking for a price to do the painting for your new home. It could be any work instead of painting, you know, roofing, plumbing, trim carpentry, whatever. But for this example, let's say you're looking for a painting company to do the work for your new home. You've called and left messages for three painting companies and that's what we recommend when you're bidding out your new project, but none of them have gotten back to you. So why is that and what can you do about it? Well, first know that you're not the only one having issues with trade contractors not getting back to them. I teach people how to build their own home and I can tell you this is one of the biggest issues right now for owner builders and what they're facing. After all, a third of all homes sold last quarter were new homes according to real estate site Redfin. That means that anyone involved in the residential construction business is crazy busy right now. Unfortunately, that's not the only reason that these companies aren't getting back to you. So what is the other reason that these companies aren't getting back to you? Did you know that 23% of all residential construction workers are self-employed? That's right, self-employed. That's more than double the national average for the labor force in the US at 10%. And when you're self-employed, you wear many different hats throughout the day, accountant, marketing, new business acquisition, service, and installation, just to name a few of the tasks that these small business owners deal with on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Now these self-employed small companies are crazy busy. So what are your options for dealing with these companies that don't get back to you? Well, you could limit your calls to the larger companies that have the resources to get back to you. Bigger trade contractors have receptionists, estimators, service personnel. So these types of companies would be more likely uh, to get back to you in a reasonable amount of time. But honestly, I think you'd be crazy to only hire these larger companies to work on your new home. Why? You'd be eliminating almost a quarter of the residential construction workforce in your search. And in doing so, you may be missing out on some high quality workers in your local market. So not to mention the fact that you may miss out on some great pricing because as a home builder, I've seen some self-employed companies that can provide personalized attention, great quality, at really, really amazing prices. Now, there was a point in my career where I was building 150 homes per year. I had an electrician who was basically a one-man band. This guy would rough in all of the wiring for a 2,000 square foot home in a day, in a single day. And he wouldn't have any quality issues on top of that. So on top of this, his pricing was extremely fair. Did I have scheduling conflicts? Sure I did. Was it hard to get a hold of him sometimes? Sure it was, but I knew I had the best person doing the job at a great price. Obviously, as an owner builder or homeowner, you're not building 150 homes a year. So what can you do as an owner builder to get trade contractors to call you back? This is gonna sound stupid and way too simple, but I assure you, this is the best way to get trade contractors to work with you. Are you ready for it? The way to get companies to call you back with a bid to do work on your home is to be a good customer. I'll say it again. You want to be the best customer that you can be. But what exactly does that mean? Well, the easiest way to do this is to put yourself in their shoes. Be professional. And remember how we talked about how busy these companies are? Because of this, you want all of your communication to them to be extremely efficient. Be clear in stating exactly what you want and include all necessary information, including the scope of work. You know, keep it condensed, but what you're trying to accomplish. The more prepared and organized you are, the more likely you're gonna get a prompt response. Ask the trade if they have a preferred method of communication, either text, phone, or email, and stick with that preferred method. And if, you're, if you were given their name from someone as a recommendation, let them know who that was so maybe they feel a little extra pressure to get back to you. Also, give them enough time to respond. A week can sometimes be necessary for a self-employed contractor to get back to new business prospects. Don't be afraid to follow up politely and professionally. It's a very busy time in the construction world and almost a quarter of the 2.5 million construction workers in this country are self-employed. This makes it crazy important to know how to approach these companies to have a shot at working with them. If you wanna learn more about 
working with trade contractors and how to bid out your projects and build your own home and manage that process, stop by and see us at ownerbuilderclass.com. Thanks for watching.